I am Vivek Patni and uh, I am going to discuss some of the biological classifications. So, since uh, as you know, since the civilization, there has been many attempts uh, to classify living organisms and it was done instinctively, not using the criteria that were scientific, but born out of a need to use the organisms for our own use, such as uh, you can say uh, food, shelter, clothing, okay. So, Aristotle was the earliest to attempt a more scientific basis of the classification. He used simply the morphological characters to classify plants into trees, shrubs and herbs. And he also divided animals into two groups, okay, uh, which are red blood cells and, and those that did not, okay. And some biologists classified organisms into plants and animals. Scientists such as uh, Ernest Haeckel, Robert Whittaker, and Carl Woos were some biologists who attempted a broader system of classification. Among these, the five kingdom classification proposed by Robert Whittaker stood out and is widely used. So, starting with the first uh, system, uh, which was uh, developed, which was uh, developed by Linnaeus. It's also known as a two kingdom classification. He divided into two types, two kingdoms, plantae and animalia. Uh, the entire world, living world, was first time broadly divided into plants and animals by the scientist Carlos Linnaeus. He classified all the organisms into two kingdoms based on their nutrition and locomotion. And this classification was based on the presence or absence of the chlorophyll molecule and later on they were renamed kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia. There are some limitations. So there is no specific distinction between uh, prokaryotes and eukaryotes or you can say uh, unicellular and or multicellular photosynthetic ones and non-photosynthetic ones. There are some organisms which neither fall into plant nor animals such as uh, lichens. Okay. And organisms such as viruses were not included in any of these kingdoms. And this classification also did not indicate any evolutionary relationship between plants and animals. Prokaryotes such as bacteria were included with other eukaryotes. Slime moles, a type of fungi, can neither be grouped into fungi nor plants. This is because they are wall-like and holozoic in vegetative stage, but develop cell wall in the reproductive stage. So these are the limitations of the linear system. So I request all viewers to subscribe uh, my channel and also like the video and share this video with your friends and also download the science Edutech app from the Google Play Store. Okay, if you want to practice the test as well as if you want to check out this PowerPoint presentation. So moving forward with the next one, three kingdom classification. In this, the scientist Ernest Haeckel realized that the simple microbes like fungi, simple algae, protozoa and bacteria were so much unlike the higher plants and animals that the third kingdom was necessary for accommodating them. So he proposed the third kingdom protista and can be created which was created for this simple organisms. Haeckel system was not widely accepted and however, the microorganisms continued to be classified as plants or animals. For example, bacteria and fungi in plants and uh, protozoa in animals. And uh, nucleated and nucleated, nucleated and nucleated organisms were kept together in the protist and the heterotrophic bacteria and fungi were placed along with the autotrophic algae. So next comes the four kingdom uh, classification. Uh, given by Herbert Copland, who proposed four kingdom classification by creating a novel kingdom monera, by creating a novel kingdom monera of prokaryotic organisms. A revised kingdom phylum monera of the protista included organisms now classified as bacteria and archaea. However, there are uh, some of the limitations in this as well. So, in this case, in this case, Higher protists, such as which were uh, sorry, lower protists, which were prokaryotic, which were included in the kingdom Monera, and bacteria and blue green algae were included in this kingdom. 
Algae, fungi, and various protozoa were included in the kingdom Protochista, and plants under kingdom Metaphyta, and animals in the kingdom Metazoa. So, even after our organisms were divided on the basis of cellular and multicellular basis, some organisms still do not follow this type of criteria. The viruses were not given place in this classification system. So, organisms having extremely different characteristics are still may not characterized. So, moving to the main and widely accepted system, which was a five kingdom classification system given by Robert Whittaker in the year 19, in the year 1969. Okay, Robert Whittaker proposed that the organism should be, should be broadly divided into kingdoms based on characters like structure of the cell, mode of the nutrition, source of the nutrition, interrelationship, body organization and reproduction. So, this laid the foundation, this characters laid the foundation of the Whittaker Five Kingdom system. So, bacteria and archaea are in the kingdom Prokaryote or Monera. Algae and protozoa are in the kingdom Protista or you can say organisms in this kingdom are also referred to as protists and fungi are in the kingdom fungi. Plants are in the kingdom plantae and animals are in the kingdom animalia. So, basically, basically, this whole classification system when was designed was kept in mind with the complexity of the cell such as unicellular or you can say multicellular or eukaryotic, prokaryotic ones, okay. So, starting with the, this one, Kingdom Moneda, where all of them were prokaryotes, okay. Simpler uh, forms, moving to the eukaryotes in which mostly uh, unicellular were included and the complexity of the organism, as I told you, it's they are unicellular, he further classified, gave the kingdom on the basis of nutrition such as kingdom plantae, where autotrophy and photosynthesis, heterotrophic absorption in the case of kingdom fungi and the heterotrophy ingestion type in the case of kingdom animalia. Still, uh, there were some limitations. Some scientists do not agree that the algae and protozoa should be kept into the same kingdom. And the distinction between the unicellular and the multicellular organisms is not possible in the case of algae in this system of classification. And each group has many diversities and that is the difficult to keep them together. For example, Monera and Protista contain both world and worldless organisms as well as photosynthetic and non-photosynthetic organisms, cellular or you can say filamentous. Still, viruses are not included and the archaea bacteria basically differ from the other bacteria and mycoplasma are quite different for bacteria where they have been long placed with the prokaryotes. Symbiotic associations were not considered in this classification system. For example, lichens are organisms which are formed by symbiotic association between fungi and algae but uh, uh, one can I think predict the direction of the evolution direction of the evolution in this classification systems okay uh, I will discuss more in the next video of the Whitaker five kingdom classification the system thank you please download the science Edutech app from the Google Play Store and kindly subscribe my youtube channel and also share with your friends and also click on bell notification icon thank you